Tucker Carlson and Don Lemon's cable news ousting and just how ugly things could get. I've been told that both Don Lemon and Tucker Carlson have hired the same entertainment lawyer, Brian Friedman, to negotiate their exits. He's famously aggressive. He's represented people like Megyn Kelly in the past. Listen, I know, look, CNN didn't pay you well. Get out of my I'm wallet. I'm just saying. Don reportedly has around $20 million left on his contract, which was set to expire in three years. It's unclear if CNN intends to pay him out. Meanwhile, it's estimated Tucker earns upwards of $20 million a year and recently signed a multi-year deal. You know, nothing is permanent except our own demise. But Tucker is also facing a lawsuit from one of his former producers, Abby Grossberg. I reached a breaking point where the harassment was so bad. Grossberg alleges she was bullied and subject to anti-Semitic comments while working on Tucker Carlson Tonight. Fox News calls the lawsuit, quote, unmeritorious. When someone makes a claim, there's only one question. Is the claim true or not? As for Don, there's speculation this contentious interview last week with GOP presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy left CNN executives exasperated. And the Second Amendment was well, part of what Hang on, please. Frame. I cannot keep a thought if you guys are talking to me in my ear. So uh, hang on one second. At one point, he snapped at producers while co-anchor Poppy Harlow appeared visibly uncomfortable. Have you ever woken up the next morning and felt like maybe I went too far? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if I didn't, then I didn't do my job. This morning, Poppy joined Caitlin Collins for their first broadcast as a duo. We wish them the best. Yeah, we certainly do. And you know late night went all in. It's easy to make jokes about Tucker being gone, but now who's going to tell me which Eminem is most woke, you know? <laughs>